So here I am outside and um, we've got something a little weird going on. Uh, there's a whole bunch of fog, which is kind of interesting. What's happened is, is uh, my guess is what happened is, is all of the humidity that's coming from the melted snow has come up into the air and because it's a little chillier today than it has been previously, it caused it to all just condense in the air rather than, you know, staying non-condensed, which is what has been happening. Anyway, so if you look over this way, through those trees there, you can normally see a hill, um, but all you can see is cloud because of the fog. It's not particularly thick, but it is thick enough that you can't see the hill over there, and there, there usually is quite a hill over there. Anyway, I wanted to take this opportunity just to kind of show you a little bit of what my yard and area looks like. Um, we do have here the snow cave that is still in various stages of collapse. I mean, I don't know if there's even room enough for me to get in there anymore, which is kind of fun. Um, that right there is our well house. That's where we get all of our water from. Um, behind it, the little black thing sticking out of the snow there, that is a strawberry bed. Um, I did also want to mention, like, the area that we took snow for, from to, to do the snow cave, there was still snow there and it has mostly all melted off. And even the snow that I was tunneling through, like, it was deep enough for me to tunnel through. And now look, I can just, well, I can walk on it without sinking in, which is actually super cool. But it's, um, I would say less than a foot thick at the moment. It's super, super melting over here. Um, we have here a little bit of a double swing and, uh, I just sunk down into the snow. But as you can see, like, it's only just barely coming above my ankles. Um, it's not really that much of a problem. <laughs> Although it does make me, um, shake quite a bit because it's, um, a hard, hard crust that my shoes are then breaking through. So, uh, let's just dump the snow out of my shoe. Ah, there we are. And um, over here, we have the trampoline, which, you know, it's quite a bit of fun to have a trampoline. Um, this here, which is still covered in snow, is more garden. Um, may or may not eventually get shoveled off. It m might just melt before that happens. Um, we have the greenhouse back over there. That's where we, um, all of the plants that are susceptible to being killed by frost, we'll keep them in there. So that way they don't die. Um, we have here our hen house, which has chickens in it. So there's our chickens. Say hi, chickens. They're not terribly talkative. Um, so we do have this barn building here. It's because we used to have a horse over here. Um, we no longer have a horse, so this area here has been turned into a garden. This is where I was shoveling snow earlier, and as you can see, it's quite, quite cleared off now. Um, but this right here is the, the area that we did have our horse in, and now we just use it as protection against the moose, because the moose loves eating gardens. Um, and as you can see, there are still areas that do have quite a bit of snow, but it's the, the, the thing, the reason why I keep talking about how little snow there is, is because normally by the start of April, you can't even see sn um, grass on the path. So this, like we, we kind of shoveled a little bit of the path originally to make the path, but like the fact that there's no snow on the path is just so bizarre. The fact that, you know, the snow is only, like, barely taller than my shoe is, and it's only, I mean, it's the end of March. It's not even April yet. It's just, ah, this doesn't normally happen. <laughs> I mean, I was expecting to come to Alaska and, you know, have at least a good month of, you know, sort of winter left, and no, I just get here and it's springtime. It's just, ah, so good. 
anyway, moral of the story, don't count on weather in Alaska, particularly not in Fairbanks, because it does whatever it wants. So this right here is the, um, the main garden. Um, I showed you guys that when I was doing the cleaning off the garden video. We have our house here, which, I mean, kind of self-explanatory, that is the house. Um, back over there, you can see those trees that are leaning over. There were some more trees that were leaning over. Those are the ones that I cut down. Um, there's some more to, to still take down. That's what my mom was commenting on my video about. Um, but um, over here, we have our garage and um, our kayak rack. And as you can see, our garage is kind of being braced. That's because it was trying to slide down the hill. And we decided that sliding down the hill was probably a bad idea for our garage. So um, we have propped it up so that it doesn't slide down the hill. Um, all good things. All good things. Oh, um, there was one other thing that I missed. And that was back over here. That kind of little shelter looking thing right there past the the swings that is where we had our pigs um we raised pigs for a couple of years and so that is the old pig pen um i don't know that we've had pigs there recently but it's still there just in case we ever want to do pigs and uh, i think that is all so i just want to say thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one.